Hello all, it is Dave here and um, I just wanted to go over a tropical formula actually because I got an email. So let me see who it was, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, John Doe. So we'll just call you John. <laughs> How about that? So John Doe um, was asking about possibly making a tropical formula. Actually, said, I've been enjoying your videos. Thanks for the content. I, it's been getting... Um, me interested in blending more. Would you advise me on some good aromas or compounds for creating a tropical ocean blend? Think ocean, sandy beach, tropical fruit, coconut salt, fresh maybe ozone, maybe salty skin, and suntan lotion. LOL. Um, any ideas? Absolutely. Because I love um, that kind of stuff, the tropical stuff. And in fact, I made um, one that I really like, and it is a tropical, um, oh, well, it's more like an ocean with rose, and it's absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, so, but that's not what we're going to do today. He was talking more about, yeah, it's called Sea Breeze Rose. That's what I named it. But that's not what we'll do today, because he was asking more about, like, the tropical ocean kind of stuff. So I kind of picked out a few that I think um, you can use, you could use um, some, I would say you want to use. Um, and then some you could just kind of choose if you want to use them. Yes. I kind of picked out a lot. I tend to put a lot of, <laughs> The, and actually, this is not even a lot, but I typically end up putting a lot of stuff. And yes, I have my coffee because I need it because it's early for me. <laughs> it just is. Um, so good to see you guys here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, good to see you guys here. Awesome. So I'm just going to kind of go over some of the ones that I picked out. And if you guys are like, because I don't have everything. Hi, Paul. I don't have everything, but what I do have, what I would put in it is this kind of stuff. Um, and some of these I may not use. I just pulled them. So ginger CO2 at that. And ginger CO2 is, <clears throat> so I've gotten a ginger oil, like essential oil in the past. And there is a difference when there is a fresh ginger essential oil and a ginger essential oil. And I know that sounds crazy, but there is, and it will say fresh ginger essential oil and it is brighter and not quite as sharp <clears throat> and way smells more. <clears throat> Here's the difference. So the fresh, they take the fresh ginger and they make the oil with that. And then the other, they take the dried ginger and they make the oil with that. And I personally, I don't like the dried ginger. It's a little bit more musty. It's not as clean. Um, it's a little damped down instead of like the fresh ginger, you go to the store and you break a piece off and you smell it. That's what a CO2 smells like. And it is so super strong. <clears throat> I diluted it down to 10% and it is still pretty strong. I really like it at 10%. So again, this is the um, ginger CO2 at 10%. I always get so distracted. <clears throat> Prismantol, Prismantol, Prismantol. <clears throat> that when you get it, it is, uh, if you don't get it at a 50%, um, it will be a solid, and so you want to, to me, a 50% is perfect because um, you just can't use that as a solid. So um, if you buy it at 100%, it's a solid. 
but at creating perfume, she has that where you can purchase it at a 50%. And a lot of times you just don't know that kind of stuff. And you think, Oh, everything at a hundred percent is liquid. And that's not. So this is one of those. This one is amazing. It's woody, spicy, gingerman, cardamom, and a little bit of pine. So very complex. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I really like this. This is for your little bit spicy notes, and but fits right into the tropical as well. Um, I really like it a lot. To me, this is <clears throat> my, of course, my opinion. This is my show, so here we go. Ultrazar, um, U-L-T-R-A-Zur, Z-U-R, Ultrazur. That's what this is. And it is fresh, aquatic, ocean, ocean, exactly with what we're talking about. This is, this is, <clears throat> this is it. But what's to me even more so ocean, <clears throat> more than anything that I have is Affirmate from IFF. This, when I open, and I wrote the C on there, because to me, it is the number one description um, when that's not the number one description you get <clears throat> on the web page. Um, it says complex, fresh, pine, wood, herbal, earthy. Then it says seashore. To me, you open this up, I grew up on the beach. This is ocean water concentrated to me more than anything, more than the ultra -zer. But the ultra -zer is an... Uh, pretty much needed in something like this. The other one that's, um, if you've been watching for any time, you know this is one of my all-time favorites, especially for a formula like this. I would never do a formula like this without Algex Cinerome. It is <clears throat> floral. It is very much like my sea breeze rose think sea breeze rose because <clears throat> that's what this is it is a blend of you're at the beach and the wind is blowing it's super humid you can smell the salt and you have a huge just roses all around you and you're smelling both and it's just beautiful at the same time that is what algex cinerome is um, <clears throat> so the soap mistress, I'm so glad you're here. Yay, you made it for a live show. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> so Algex Cinerone. The next one that is, you might be like, hmm, but it's Fresh Accord. But if you pull your Fresh Accord and you smell it, and I tell you, ocean, and then you open the bottle and smell, you'll be like, oh, okay, I get it if I say the word ocean or sea breeze and then you smell fresh accord, you can pick it out. You can get it. Cause when I smell it by itself and I think, Oh, I'm gonna make a floral accord and I put fresh accord in there. I don't think ocean and sea breeze. I don't really get that. But when, I'm, <laughs> but when I'm doing this and I think ocean breeze, whatever that is, I get it from the bottle. It's one of those, um, blindfold test kind of a things that your that the mind does. <clears throat> so um, guavanate is one. Think guava. Um, that's a possibility. So I pulled it. Um, aldehyde C eighteen. You know that as coconut, absolutely. So that's one. I'm just. I'm not saying this is going to go in it, but I pulled it because. It's definitely what you want to think about for this kind of a thing. So the next one is Sentinel, S-C-E-N-T-E-N-A-L, Sentinel from Fermaniche. It's a complex aldehyde, <clears throat> marine, watery, green, floral. And it, um, it's, um, I'm sorry, I have to go let my dog in. Oh, I'm sorry. Give me just a second. <clears throat> I 
Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Um, it although it says um, a complex aldehyde at the very beginning, um, it's not like your typical um, low number aldehydes. Um, it's just not quite like that. I can open this up, the sentinel, and stick my nose right up on it. <clears throat> it's not that bad. It's not that strong of an aldehyde. The next one is decalactone delta natural. <clears throat> I don't know if you can get that. There are ones that are like this. Um, so it's just a, a lactone, a coconut lactone is basically what this is. And this one is deca. There's um, dota lactone, um, decalactone, this, but this is a delta. There's gamma, delta. To me, this is a very clean coconut. Just as clean as the coconut C18. And then the last one is new to, um, I noticed on creating perfume, when you go to her home page at the very top and you click home, it doesn't show new um, materials anymore, but this is a new material. Um, um, Ambrinol, Ambrinol, A-M-B-R-I, NOL 95. It's from IFF. Um, mine is at 50%. So mine is cut. Um, it's an aged ambergris, tobacco, leathery, ocean, seaweed, warm, animalic. <clears throat> Pretty accurate description of this. This is very complex and <clears throat> it is a little bit um it's all relative but to me it's a, a little on the expensive side you can absolutely get this at 50 percent like mine is at 50 percent and it's strong it is very strong so maybe that would be a solution for you um because it's really, it's very, very strong. I have other ones <clears throat> that I have that like are at cut, like at a 3%, something different. And I just almost cannot even smell it at all. But this one, you can get, you can purchase it at a 50% and it'll be a little bit cheaper. And it's still very, very strong. Just to FYI. That's the kind of stuff I would learn to that's the kind of stuff I want to know <clears throat> when I was starting out. So um, let's see what some people are saying. Yeah, and our um, just, I'm sure you know, but just in case. So our live, um, the live show is recorded. So this is being recorded at the same time and it will show up and you can watch this later. Um, <clears throat> and some of you will be doing this later, but I'm just talking to those people who are watching live that you can watch this a little bit later. Um, <clears throat> so I am going to say, um, <clears throat> I kind of like all of this. I think the only and there's some others that I haven't pulled that you can put in it. So let me just give you some more ideas. Um, passion fruit. Oh, yum. Oh, geez. Oh, my God. Yeah, this one. I'd rather have, I'm going to take the ginger out. And um, because there's a little bit of ginger in this prismantol. Um, and I'm going to put the passion fruit in. That passion fruit is just divine. It is beautiful. Oh, my God. And then the other one that's like the passion fruit. Oh, my God. Um, is dew fruit. I love the dew fruit. 
yeah, it's to me, it's very tropical. It's, ah, I want to put it in there. It's one of those must have kind of things. Come here, you want to say hi? Sydney, come here. Sydney, come on. Come here. Come on. This is Sydney. Oh, he's such a good boy. He's a good boy. He's just a puppy. Yeah, he's big, I know, but he's just a puppy. But this is Sydney. He is a absolute sweetheart. And yes, I digress. And yes, that's a big cup of coffee. That is my regular size coffee that I have every morning. Oh, he sees himself. That's the first. His ears went rare. It means he saw himself. Anyway, <clears throat> so um, I'm going to write these down. I'm going to just say them out loud. If it's Ambernol 95, it's supposed to smell like a tincture of a well-aged ambergris that has been baked on the waves. That has been in ways. Yeah, because the ambergris to the top and the sun hits it obviously for a long period of time before it's captured and yeah <clears throat> it is as um ambernal i it it almost takes you back a little with the how complex it truly is it is complex and it is very distinct. I don't know that I have smelled. I don't think I haven't smelled anything like this before. Um, and it is beautiful. It's a, it's a really good thing. So I'm not saying I've never smelled anything like it before. It smells weird. It doesn't. It, it is probably one of the most accurate descriptions I mean, there's other accurate descriptions. I get it. But this one it really is accurate with um, the aged ambergris, the tobacco, uh, not quite as much. I get a little bit more of the leather. Definitely ocean and seaweed is there. Um it's just, it's really awesome. Anyway, I need to write these down really quick. So, Ambernol, A-M-B-R-I-N-O-L, um, Decalactone, Delta, Natural, <clears throat> Sentinel, S-C-E-N-T-E-N-A-L, Aldehyde, um, C-18, Guavinate. I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna say something about guavinate. So I'm gonna pull it forward after I write all this down. <clears throat> I'm going to try not to get too distracted. Fresh Accord. <clears throat> I love the Fresh Accord. It is so versatile. It's crazy. Algic Cinerone. <clears throat> If you love the ocean stuff, whatever, the Algic Cinerone must have. Affirmate must have. Must have. And passion fruit. Affirmate. H E R M A T E. Sometimes I say affirmate. I don't know why. It's kind of like Alora and her um, oh, a peony, uh, or how does she say it? Peony, peony accord. I say affirmate. Um, ultras are U L T R A Z U R. And then Prismental. <clears throat> Passion fruit. And do fruit. <clears throat> okay, guavine. So, to me, this guavinate is aldehydic. It does smell like guavinate, but there is a. Uh, I would have to put guavinate. I mean, out. Uh, um, 
I haven't had enough coffee before I did this. I need to, I would label it aldehydic in the, one of the beginning descriptors because it is pretty aldehydic. This is one of those, in my opinion, that you could cut <clears throat> and not use that hundred percent because it's so strong in this formula. I'm going to put one drop and that's it. Cause it's just, if I put two drops in this formula, especially um, cause it will be in a, it's going to be kind of a small formula. It will absolutely take over and that's all you will smell. So just to let you know, it's guavanate is in my opinion, very, very strong. And it is one you could cut um, and you can make a bottle of 20% and you would absolutely be fine with it. In fact, I did. I have a little bit of guavanate over there and I think I cut it at 20%. Um, but just, just knowing that kind of stuff is important because you don't want to, I don't know, I don't want to use the word waste all this stuff because it's that's this is how you learn is what we're doing. But just good information, good knowledge about I try to give you information about each material so you will know because if you don't have the material, it's good to know that kind of stuff because not all this information is posted on the page for the material. <clears throat> and so how are you going to know this kind of stuff? And it's that kind of stuff that just always frustrated me that I never knew. And then I'm get at home and I'm like, Oh my God, what? I d did not expect this. I didn't know with the prismant hall that I was going to have to dilute it. And I mean, it's said on there, if you read that it's like a solid or whatever, but then it doesn't say, Oh, this needs to be diluted down to 10% or it can be diluted just at a 50% or whatever. And so it's that kind of stuff that I want to give you the stuff that I've learned. Um, Paul is saying um, tangerinol is a green citrus, bitter, fresh marine seaweed. Um, I, that's kind of funny in the last number of weeks, I've looked at that one and I, that's one I don't have. It's one that I've wanted, but I don't have that one. So <clears throat> the other thing that you can do is I picked up some tangerine actually, and maybe I'll put tangerine in here, just pure tangerine essential oil. <clears throat> That's very obviously bright and don't forget a drop of strawberry olifac. Oh, that's Paul. That is awesome because I, I've done that before in my, um, I actually, I have a, my own version of tropical fruit accord and my, that strawberry olifac is in there. And I have my own tropical wood accord that I made that is, very different than the tropical wood accord and the tropical accord um, at creating perfume. Mine's just different. I wanted to try it myself. I love making accords. Um, so let me pull this strawberry olifac and we'll add that in here as well. And actually, yeah, like just a drop is all you will need and it will be amazing. It will be awesome. <clears throat> so I wanted to, say, because I was watching the other day, I was watching you, Alora, and <clears throat> I couldn't tell. So the last one I see is, Paul, you just said yay. So if there's a bunch of stuff underneath that, that people have written, I cannot see it. And I'm not there yet. So I don't know if this is, if that, if the writing on the side is immediate, um, but probably seven seconds ago, I saw Paul and it went up yay. So I'm just, I'm hoping because the other day it seemed like it was a little delayed or something, the writing. So anyway, I'm just still trying to learn this live thing and want it to get better and better. So, <clears throat> so strawberry olfact, S-T-R-A-W, strawberry olfact. <clears throat> okay. So... 
I'm just going to do this how I, how I do it. So <clears throat> that's all I can do is that. So uh, maybe you will learn something or you will be like, huh, maybe you could do it different this way. Think about it this way. If you guys have feedback or whatever, but this is the kind of the way that I do it. So now I have a good picture and an understanding of these materials. The only one that I'm new with is this <clears throat> Amber and all. <clears throat> that's the only one that's new to me, but this is going to be a pretty significant material for um, what John Doe was wanting to do. So I'm going to start with, it may sound funny, one drop of this because, and remember this is at 50%, but this is strong. It's, it's really strong. One, I can always come back and add more. So I don't care. And I just make sure that I mark it well on my paper. Um, <clears throat> when I go back, cause I, if I mark it out and put the, the correct number of drops, I just want to be very clear when I come back a month later to look how many drops. So I just want to be clear with that. Uh, Decalactone natural. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, <clears throat> five of those. Sentinel um, is... 278 hours on the test strip. It is restricted at this time at 0.5%. Um, again, this is one of those ones that I, I would not put more than one drop. One. It's very strong. It's very aldehydic. Um, actually, let me double... It's not that aldehydic. That's right. That's the one that's to me is not as aldehydic, but it's really, to me, it's one of those that really fit in here that will help with that oceanic, that saltwater breeze. The sentinel is really going to help with that saltwater breeze. A coconut C18, 300 and about 300 hours on the test strip. It's a middle note. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. <clears throat> Seven of those. <clears throat> Guavinate, one drop. This stuff to me is very strong. One drop of guavinate. There we go. So one drop. Fresh Accord. Ooh, I have barely any in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> nine, and then let me say something about that. Nine. So this Fresh Accord is incredibly, incredibly light. To me, it is a must-have. If you are watching this, in my opinion, it is, it's just one that you need to have. It, um, it's citrus, ozone, bright, fresh. Um, it's ocean. Lily floral, it it is a must have when you're doing uh, it, any formula. I, I really, really like it. And it is incredibly versatile. It's just a must have, in my opinion. It just is. Algic Cinerone, you can stick that on the list too, because it's just, it's a must have. It's so elegant, so beautiful. <coughs> I'm still not totally feel it. It's crazy. I'm still not feeling better. Ugh. I'm feeling better, but I'm not better all the way. <clears throat> Ooh, this one's, I could wear this by itself. It's so beautiful. Wow. One, two, three. It is pretty strong. And very, very lasting. Three of those. <clears throat> Ultras, oh, Affirmate. Affirmate. This is just concentrated seawater. I don't know how many times I've said that, but that is not the description. It is my description, and it is the 
num it is like liquid concentrated seawater. It just is. One, two, three. Four, four, 12 hours on the test strip. It is a middle note. That was affirmate at 12. Ultrazur, Z U R, Ultrazur. That's how I'm saying it. Um, Al oh, Algic Cinerome, A L G I X. Cinerome, C Y N A R O M E, Algix, A L G I X, Algix Cinerome. God, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. My child. Okay, um, Ultra Zerb. It's pretty tropical. This one is ocean and tropical you can kind of get a little bit um, and it smells very watery as well. <clears throat> um, 168 hours on the test strip. One, two, three, four. It's pretty strong. Four. <clears throat> of those. Next is Prismental. <clears throat> it's 40 hours on the test strip. It is a middle note. When you smell like this, it's not very strong. You're probably going to think that it might be a top note. It's just not super strong, but it's beautiful. It's really nice. <clears throat> it's, it's a light spice. It's spicy, but it's not like, it's just a lighter spicy. It's not going to take over at all. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like I put six, it's not going to be that spicy at all. It's not going to be that bad. Six, pardon my child. Again, he's fine. He's not, I've taken the vet. He's fine. Just so you know, I'm very aware. <clears throat> Passion fruit. I could wear this by itself. It's so beautiful. And I'm going to pull one other thing to remind me to tell you about something. So I'm going to tell you about that in just a minute. <clears throat> Here we go with the passion fruit. One, two, three, four. I put four of those in there. Passion fruit four. Do fruit. Ugh. Very juicy, very wet. It will make your mouth water. This one's woo, definite for the tropicals. One, two, three, four, five. I showed you it up at five. I don't care. Five. Mmm. Love it. Okay. Tangerine. I haven't even put it in a dropper thing yet. I just got it. It was like 50% off. One, two, three, four, four. <clears throat> and yeah, I said 50% off. Ugh, it was amazing. So four tangerine essential oils, <clears throat> four drops. And then one drop of strawberry olifact. One, one drop of strawberry olifact. Um, um, Paul is saying, what about timber silk and what about melanol, um, G I have melanol from Simrise. It doesn't say G, um, but I'll tell you something. Watch this. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to explain a couple of things, Paul, because you're talking about it. <clears throat> I'm going to talk about three melons. So here I go doing all kinds of different 
ones. So melanol. This melanol is um, melon, but it has a little bit of that light cucumbery spa-like aroma. Um, green, very almost sharp. Um, it's going to give lift and projection, but you can easily get <clears throat> the ocean, being at the ocean, um, that kind of stuff from this as well. So it's a great, great addition to this because of wanting the ocean and the, the sea breeze, that kind of stuff. This is a great one. The next one is Melon by Giveco. I got this from a different company a long time ago. Um, and this is pure cantaloupe and honeydew melon. It is a 50-50 blend of pure honeydew melon and cantaloupe. High end, it's pretty expensive, but if you love, and I got this a long time ago, it was one, like right when I first started, um, <clears throat> it was not at creating perfume. It is now, but at that time it wasn't. I got it from another company and I got it because my mom's favorite thing in life is honeydew melon and she loves the aroma as well. And that's why I got it. It is, it, it is not some just melon. It is very specific honeydew melon, coconut. I mean, honeydew melon, um, cantaloupe. So that's melon from Giveco. Not as great of a choice for where we're going because this melanol from Simrise is so perfect for what we're doing. And then you have melon olefac. It is a fresh, green, clean, um, general, hard to pick out which melon you're talking about kind of a thing. Um, for this project we're doing, I think this one would be a better fit. <clears throat> and then I'm a, oh, here I go into one more thing. Um, and then I've not forgotten about this. I want to talk about this in just a second. <clears throat> Watermelon ketone. Watermelon ketone to me is not about, oh, I want a watermelon smell. That's not what, for me, watermelon ketone is. Watermelon ketone, for me, is a fresh, oceanic, um, <clears throat> seashore aroma. I know that's crazy, but it is. That's really, I mean, when you read it, it's like fresh, seashore, ozone, melon aroma, um, and cologne, C-A-L-O-N-E. C-A-L-O-N-E is another name for um, watermelon ketone. Um, <clears throat> it's a middle base. It's 400, oh, 500, I thought it was 400, 500 hours on the test trip. This to me mm, is a must. I'm, we're going to add watermelon ketone and we're going to add melanol. We're not going to do a lot of melanol, but we're going to do just a little bit. So... Karma wood equals timberall. Really? I didn't know that. Are you saying, Paul, that karma wood is similar to timberall? Or like, it looks like you're saying karma wood, a different company made their own and it's timberall. They're the exact same thing. They just have different names. Is that what you're saying? I would love to know that. Yeah, I would love to know that. Um, let me write these down really quick, and then I'm going to go into this. <clears throat> so watermelon ketone. Watermelon ketone. And then melanol. M-E-L-O-N-A-L. Melanol from Simrise. Um <clears throat> So melanol, I'm going to do two, one, two, melanol, two drops, <clears throat> watermelon ketone, 
Oh, good Lord. One, two, three, four, five. I just put five. So did. Mm -mm, love it. Watermelon ketone, five. There we go. Now, <clears throat> okay, he said, I think it's the same as in a synonym. Sorry, it's my dog. Um, yes, made by IFF. Okay, I'm going to have to look into that because I didn't know about that. So <clears throat> the other thing for tropicals, one of my all-time favorite in the like back in the day whatever is continued and continued to look for a mango looked and looked and looked and looked and looked i have only found one mango and it is absolutely accurate and it happens to be natural this is mango natural um Melange and melange means like a bl I bl don't hold me to it. I think it's French and it means blend. But um, it is from White Lotus Aromatics. It's a husband and wife team, and ugh, it's either Washington or, or or Oregon, Washington. Not sure. Don't remember. But anyway, Mango Natural, and it is absolutely. Mango. It is beautiful. Gorgeous mango. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's expensive. And that's why I only got that much. It just, it's expensive. But it's, I, I've not, I have yet to find a mango anywhere. I just, I haven't. So, but this one, yes, this is my mango. It's amazing. It's awesome. Anyway, I just wanted to, to say that because. <clears throat> that's something, it's one of those things I researched and researched and researched and with things that I've just researched, I want to tell you guys, because maybe you have the same <clears throat> question or that kind of stuff. So, okay. Um, I am going to, before I put anything else like the karma wood or whatever, maybe I'll just, I'm going to, close this and shake and see where we are and see if some type of wood or something look at this i love doing this just showing you before it is mixed up i don't know i just do <clears throat> now see how bright that got that's awesome okay let's just see where we are here I really like it and and not nervous to change it, but I don't know. I really like hmm. I I really like it. Let me I, I do have that karma wood, so I just need to locate it. Um, karma wood is one of those ones that it's very cold down here chopper stop and it is um a solid yeah it's not um it's a solid <laughs> hey uh-uh <clears throat> but timberall Timberall? I don't think I have Timberall. I'm, I'm looking. Give me a second. Um, let me just pull my timber silk. Uh, you know I love it, so. Mm. Yeah, let's do some timber silk. Paul, I'm gonna just go back to that. Here we go. Timber silk. I'm not gonna put a lot, but 
to me before I open them. I don't, I typically don't open it like that and then stick it in. I typically put this on like this and then I open my cap. It just prevents a spillage. So <clears throat> here we go. Timber silk. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to put five. Because this is going to be beautiful. Oh, absolutely amazing. Nice. There we go. Let's just shake it up really quick and then see how we are. That's crazy. Paul, thank you. Because that just made it. Wow. That's really awesome. It didn't take away from where we wanted to go, which is the ocean breeze tropical. It just gave a little bit of structure to this. Mm, really nice. Really nice. And it is not even matured. It's beautiful. It's awesome. Nice. So awesome. Here we go. Thank you so much. So what I wanted to, another thing I wanted to tell you guys about is I just started a, <clears throat> a pay. And now that I want to talk about it, I'm just all the information has just left my head. Um, <clears throat> let me get to it really quick. Just one second. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, so I started a Patreon page. It's Patreon. Um, let me spell that for you just in case. Uh, if this will work. Sorry, I just need to put it out in front. Patreon. P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash mountain aromatics. And what that is, is, is it a, it's a place where you can um, support me financially, like um, $2 a month, uh, um, $5 a month, um, $10 a month, that kind of a thing. And you are rewarded. So with those different levels, you will get formulas direct from me that will not go out to anyone else except for at those different levels. And I think with the different levels will come more um, like accords, like um, fragrance accord formulas, fragrance formulas, that type of thing. And <clears throat> The other thing, I'm going to set up one more where, <clears throat> and I haven't, um, I don't know the amount for it yet, but I'm going to set up one where if you give in that one once a month, you have a one-on-one -on -one video with me. So you have a private session with me to do that. That is just going to, one, i I believe in my skills and what I do and um, this information and it just will allow me to do this more and spend more time doing this and also for the materials to get because I don't have everything and if I want to have all of the stuff that you guys have then you know I need some support. So if you like this and if this is helpful, even just $2, $5 a month. And when you sign up, um, I believe that you will sign up where it just comes out um, automatic. So they're automatic payments. So you don't have to think about them, but you will be rewarded as well. So um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's patreon.com slash mountain aromatics. And I will put a link to that in the show notes after this. So you will have it. So um, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you guys on the next 
mountain aromatics. So if you guys have some ideas for like this whole thing that I did was from, oh God, John Doe. And he wrote in and said, hey, what about this thing? And that's how I did this show today. So if you guys have any, any ideas or anything like that that you want me to do or something you're like, hey, can you explain lactones or whatever, that kind of stuff, just write in and let me know and I can do that and I'll do a video. So thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate all of you. I love doing this. This type of stuff that I did today is right up my alley. I really, really enjoy it. <clears throat> So hope you have a good day. And if you like this, give me a thumbs up. And um, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And I will see you on the next Mountain Aromatics. Have a good day. Thank all. I appreciate all of you being here. Thank you for joining me live.